All right, today we're gonna calculate exactly how much epoxy resin you need for your project. The two pieces we have is an 18 inch round and an eight inch square. You can kick things off by heading over to mossepoxies.com and clicking on the resin calculator button. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is figure out what the dimensions of the project are. So the little square that we had up before was eight by eight. All right, so eight inches is the length, eight inches is the width, and then for the thickness, that's going to be how thick you want to pour the epoxy. So for this guy, we're going to say 1.25, which is an eighth inch layer. So over here is the cubic inches. I uh, didn't quite make any cubic feet since it's not 12 cubic inches. But you get your ounces, the gallons, milliliters, and liters. And then to take it a step further, you can choose your product. So we're going to coat this guy with tabletop. And then it tells us the mix ratio by volume. So it'd be 2.21 ounces of part A, 2.21 ounces of part B, totaling 4.43, or the mix by weight. So if you're measuring in grams, if you have a scale, it'd be 79.39 grams of part A, 65.89 grams of part B, totaling 145.28 grams. So measuring by volume is one to one for tabletop and measuring by weight is 183. And that's because the epoxy and the, or I'm sorry, the resin and the hardener have different densities. So they have different weights combined with each other. Up next is the round, which is 18 inches across. And we got fancy and we're doing this on our mobile phone. So you scroll down to round or circular volume calculator and you punch in 18 inches. Thickness is already set at 1 8 and there you go. 35.25 ounces of resins, which you'll need to cover that. With the numbers and the math, you know, I figure we'd take a little break. Watch Haley knock a cup out of my hand. Up next is the mix ratio by weight calculators. So these are kind of uh, our go-to, our recommended way to measure out epoxy. If you're not measuring by weight, you just need a, a small food scale. You can get them for about 10 bucks on Amazon. Make sure it has grams on it, because that's how you want to measure is by grams. And then, you know, something with a giant pour, like a river table, something like that, you're typically not going to measure by weight because the scales don't generally go up that high. You would do it by volume, but we do have these on here in case you do have a smaller project or a scale that does go up that high, you could measure by weight. So for the first example, we're going to use tabletop and let's take a look at that. The weight calculators are great if you're just eyeballing how much you'll need and you plan on pouring the excess into a mold. You want to zero the scale with the cup in place. That way it's set at zero, the cup doesn't weigh anything. And then for this instance, we're going to pour part A and punch in 205.21 grams. And then it'll give us 170.32 grams of part B. Now keep in mind, measuring by weight has a different ratio than by volume. So refer to the calculators or our technical data bulletins. So for example, tabletop is one to one by volume, but it's actually 100 to 83 by weight. So, part A, 205.21 grams, part B, 170.32 grams. Up next is resin calculation hacks. If you have any questions or need a little extra help figuring out how much epoxy resin you need for a project, we've got Corey. Yeah, he's there for you. Feel free to email or call. He'll be there to help you out. If you ran out of mixing cups, no problem. Grab your measuring cup from your kitchen, determine how much epoxy resin you need. For this example, it's eight ounces. So you fill up your mixing cup with eight ounces, and then we're gonna pretend that it's tabletop. So we divide that by two, it'd be four ounces of part A, four ounces of part B. Pour it in the cup, mark your lines, you're ready to rock. Now, one thing to really keep in mind is that it is important that you get all of the water out of that mixing cup. Tigers hate cinnamon, epoxy resin hates water. It'll foam up, turn white, it's no good. All right, the last hack is from Kelly Johnson. Yeah, there she is. So basically you just fill up a mold with water and then you pour that water into a measuring cup. That'll tell you exactly how much you'll need for that project. But it gets a little tricky then determining the ratio of it. So we'll walk through that next. The music cut out. I can't, I can't math without music. We need music. Good, good, all right, we're back. We're back in action. All right, so 50 milliliters. Uh, that one's pretty simple for tabletop or art pro. You just divide it by two, so 25. Uh, you know, then you have 25 of part A, 25 of part B equals 50 milliliters. You're ready to rock. Now, when it gets a little more complicated is the two to ones, the three to ones, and we'll kind of walk you through that with the calculator. 
So for the example, we're gonna go with flag and medium. It's a pretty popular choice for small castings. You know, two to one system, it's pretty straightforward. So first thing you gotta do is figure out how many parts are in a two to one. It's pretty simple. You just add two plus one, that equals three. Once you get that number, three, you divide that by 50, and that's gonna give you 16.6666666667, or you could just make it 16.67, round up. When you round up, you're gonna multiply that by two, and that's gonna give you 33.34. So the 16.67 is gonna be your part B, your hardener, and then the 33.34 is gonna actually be your part A. And it's gonna total 50.01 milliliters since we rounded up just to make math easier. You're ready to rock. So it's that straightforward, that simple. But if you have any questions or anything like that, feel, feel free to give us a call. Cause we got, remember, Corey. He's good at math. All right, I've told you guys 20 times, I cannot do this without music. All right. All right, so the final hack, 16.67 milliliters is gonna be pretty hard to measure. So measuring by weight is far more accurate. And you know, there's a lot of different ways you can go about this. You can convert milliliters to ounces, then convert ounces to pounds, then convert pounds to grams. And it's a lot of extra math. Alternatively, you can just kind of hack the rectangular square calculator. And, you know, we could just type in one and then we'll say, we'll make that six. So we're at 49.16 milliliters. You know, we can add one pretty close there at a zero. Let's do a two. There's 50 milliliters. Woo. Woo. And then you can just choose your product, which would be tabletop. Scroll down. And there you go. 30.27 grams of part A. 25.12 grams of part B. Mix that up, pour it. It's going to fill that little spaceship mold like a rock star, and you'll be ready to go. And just to go a little bit further, if you did want to convert to weight, uh, it's actually a pretty complicated process. So let's we'll say you want to do it with tabletop. You would want to go to the technical data bulletin, and then you want to look at the resin density, pounds per gallon. So one gallon of tabletop weighs 9.7 pounds and the hardener weighs 8.1 pounds, which gives you that 100 to 83 by weight. And then by volume, it doesn't matter so much because it's the displacement, which is one to one, but you would need to convert the grams to pounds and then, you know, per pound at 9.7. And then you'd have to figure out, you know, the three to one. So you'd be four divided by you know, the math gets complicated, so you could just use the calculator to save yourself the headaches. If you do want to learn how to do this, we can make a tutorial. Uh, it's not fun, but we can do it. Well, as always, guys, we appreciate you tuning in, checking out these videos, and uh, let us know in the comments if you have any questions or, you know, what you'd like more explanation on, or if you just want to hang out, you know, talk to us on there. We'd love to chat. Have a good one.